Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol UXIN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute time frame? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation it makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice bounce. I mean, when you consider the price started the day and then where it ended, any rational person to say, yeah, the, the price definitely made a very nice move on the day. But that does lead to the valid question now though of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at the $5.80 mark. Why is 5.80 so important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength are gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying that, thanks Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement has genuine strength, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 580. Any sort of closes blow there or worse yet if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that big old range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down here. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps being made in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. You wanna see progress being made forward, and this is quote unquote progress point of $5.80. Now, what about levels of resistance? In terms of where the sellers are hanging out at, right now that seems to be right around $6.50, so 650 will be public enemy number one going into tomorrow. All in all though, no doubt about it. Anyway, look at it, very nice bounce on the bulls part. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.